Going to space used to be extremely expensive and the preserve of superpowers. Developing nations had to rely on partnerships or costly commercial arrangements to get data from space. With technological advances and liberalization of the space industry, a new space race is in the works, and Africa is part of the story. Going forward, as a country, we want to invest in uh, infrastructure, be able to build these systems locally. Three, two, one, ignition, engine full power, and lift off of Transporter 7, Go Falcon, Go Transporter. Kenya has just launched Typha 1 at a cost of about $372,000 for a nano satellite with an orbit lifetime of five years. It has been launched by the SpaceX Rideshare Program, aimed at consolidating space payloads for smaller players. Think of it as a shared transport service to space. Quand bien même ces sociétés privées sont des propriétés de milliardaires, mais Dans cette même vision-là, les pays africains peuvent aussi euh, penser de la même manière. Taifa One has been launched on the Falcon 9, a reusable space vehicle that has revolutionized space transport by operating on a pay-per-use or consignment basis for both human and equipment payloads. As the world's first orbit-class reusable rocket, it has drastically brought down the cost to deploy cargo to space from millions of dollars to a few hundred thousand only. For us as Kenya, this is a great step because one, we'll be able to have our own data, we'll be able to process our data and be able to make uh, useful decisions for societal benefits. This has resulted in more players joining the space race. 52 plus satellites have been launched by over 14 African countries. Most of the applications are on satellite imagery to be used for climate analysis, planning and security. The, the satellites so are going to be an outil that we use on the plan international in all the sense. The development of satellites makes that in many countries, des activités de, de la vie de tout le monde on trouve les satellites le satellite intervient a literal wave of rocket science is hitting the continent opening up new opportunities for space engineers data scientists mappers and many more how can your community benefit from these advancements <laughs>